So why are peanuts so important to agriculture? After all, you put a seed in the ground and up springs grass. This grass becomes corn or rice or golden waves of wheat or oats. So why would you want to grow peanuts? Well, every, every one of these plants send down roots into the soil. They're not just creating carbon, pulling carbon out of the air through photosynthesis. They have to suck up a much smaller amount, but a non ignorable amount of nutrients from the soil. These nutrients include 11 different trace minerals and elements that they need. Now, you can put these back by fertilizing, get a big pile of cow manure and dig it into the land, but there's only so much cow manure in the world. So, how do you keep the soil nutrient rich so, rich so your plants can continue to grow? First, we developed crop rotation which is pretty simple. You rotate which crops you plant. In one year you'll grow corn, the next year you might grow wheat or oats, and then the next year you'll grow uh, beans or some other viney plant. This really helps, but for the longest time people weren't sure why. But then we really begin to learn about chemistry and nitrogen. Now nitrogen is all around us in the air, but it can't get naturally from the air into the soil. It won't leach in with rain or anything. But certain plants will fix nitrogen, and the peanut plant is one of these plants. How does it do this? Well, it has its root system, and the leaves suck in the nitrogen, and it gets sent down into the roots and into the soil. But again, the peanut plant can't do this by itself. It needs a little help from its friends. What friends, you ask? Well, let's take a look under that soil. Let's take a close look at these roots. On these roots are little nodules, little nodes, little bulbs that aren't peanuts, aren't seeds. They're barely even part of the plant. Let's take a closer look at those nodes now. You see, those little nodes are entire cities, entire civilizations of helpful bacteria. These little bacteria live and grow in the nodes, and they are the ones who take the nitrogen from the potato plant and pump it out back out into the soil. And as long as these microbes are pumping the nitrogen into the soil, it stays rich and strong. This doesn't just affect things like rice and grain and other types of cereal. This actually makes the sugar more available that allows candy to be so plentiful and so cheap. Because if we couldn't grow the grains and the beets to make sugar so cheaply, we wouldn't have so much cheap, freely available candy. So whenever you eat your candy, remember to thank the humble peanut and their little colonies of bacteria.